Welcome to theCUBE's continuing coverage of Splunk.com 21. I'm Lisa Martin. I have a couple of guests here with me next talking about Splunk, HPE, and Deloitte. Please welcome Casey Clark, Managing Director and Chief Architect at Deloitte, and Elias Alanya, Master Technologist, Office of the North American CTO at HPE. Guys, welcome to the program. Great to have you. Thank you, Lisa. It's great to be here. Thanks, Lisa. Here we still are in this virtual world, the last 18 months, so many challenges, some opportunities, some silver linings, but some of the big challenges that organizations are facing, this rapid shift to remote work, the rapid acceleration in digital transformation, ransomware up nearly 11X in the first half of this year alone, solar winds. Talk to me about some of the challenges that organizations are facing and how you're helping them deal with that. Casey, we'll start with you. So most of our clients, as we move to virtual, um, have accelerated their adoption of multiple cloud platforms, you know, moving into AWS, into Azure, into Google. And one of the biggest challenges is in this distributed environment, they still have significant workloads on-prem. Part of the workloads are in, you know, Office 365. Part of them are in Salesforce. Uh, part of them, they're moving into AWS or big data workloads into uh, Google. How do you make this all manageable from both a security point of view and accelerating threats uh, make that much worse, but also from an operational point of view? You know, How do I do application performance management when I have workloads in the cloud calling APIs back on-prem into the mainframe? How do I make it operationally when I have tons of containers and virtual machines operating out there. So the importance of Splunk and good log management, observability, along with all the security management and the security logs and being able to monitor your environment in this complex distributed environment is absolutely critical. And it's just going to get more complex as we get more distributed. Elias, how can companies, given the complexity how can companies with these complicated IT landscapes get ahead of some of these issues? One of the things that we've really focused on in, in making sure that you're getting ahead of those is, in, you know, we work with, with organizations like Splunk and Deloitte, is how do, we, how do we collect all of the data, not just a little bit of it? You know, Splunk's help and, and Deloitte are helping us look across all of those places. But we want to make sure that we can, can really ingest everything that's out there and then let the tools like Splunk then use all of that data. We've, found a lot of organizations really struggle with that and with the the retention of, of that data, it's been a challenge. So those are things that we've really worked hard on figuring out with organizations out there, um, how, to, how to ingest, retain, and then modernize how they do those things at the same time. I was reading the Splunk State of Security Report, which they surveyed over 500 security leaders. I think it was at over nine um, global economies and they said 78% of security and IT leaders worry, 78% that they're going to be hit by something like solar winds, um, that style of attack. Splunk saying security is a data problem, but also looking at all this talk about being on the defensive and preventing attacks, the threat landscape escaping. Companies also have to plan for growth. They have to plan for agility. How do you both help them accomplish both at, at the same time? Casey, we'll start with you. Well, fundamentally on the, security front, you start with security by design. You're designing the, the logging, the monitoring, the defenses into the systems as they're being designed up front, as opposed to adding them when you get to uh, you know, a UAT or production environment. So security by design, much like DevOps and DevSecOps, is pushing that attitude towards security back earlier in the process so that each of the systems as we're developing them um, have the, the defenses that are, are needed and have the logging that are embedded in them and the standards for logging so that you don't just get a lot of different kinds of data, you get the data you actually need coming into the system and then setting up the correlation of that data so you can identify those threats early you know, through AI, through predictive analytics you get to, to identify things more quickly. You know, it's all about reducing cycle times and getting better information by designing it in from the beginning. And designing it in from the beginning, that shifting left. Elias, what are your thoughts about this? Uh, kind of enabling that defense, uh, designing it in upfront and also enabling organizations to have the agility to grow and expand. 
yeah, sort of reminded of uh, something our, our friends with the Blue Oval used to say in manufacturing, quality isn't inspected, it's built in, right? And you, and to Casey's point, you have to build it in. We, we've we definitely uh, worked with Deloitte to do that, and we've set up systems so that they have true agility. We've done things like uh, containerize Splunk with Kubernetes, uh, you know, work with object storage. A lot of the new modern technologies that, that maybe uh, organizations aren't quite accustomed to yet or still getting on board with. And so we wrap those up in our HPE GreenLake managed services so that we can provide those things to organizations that aren't maybe aren't ready for them yet. But but the the threat landscape is such that you have to be able to do those things. If you're not, you know, orchestrating these thousands and thousands of containers with something like Kubernetes, uh, it's just it becomes a, such a manual and labor intensive process. And so that that labor intensive non-automated process, that's the thing that we're trying to remove. Well, that's an inhibitor to growth, right? Number one there. Let's go ahead and dig into the HPE Deloitte Splunk solution. Casey, I'm going to go back over to you. Talk to me about kind of the, the, the catalyst for developing the solution, and then we'll dig into it in terms of what it's delivering. So Deloitte has had long-term partnerships with both HPE and Splunk, and we're very excited about working together with them on this solution. Um, the HPE GreenLake, which is hardware by subscription, you know, the flexibility of that platform, you know, the, the cost effectiveness uh, of the platform, be able to run workloads like Splunk on it that are constantly changing. You have peaks and valleys depending on, you know, how much work you're doing, how many logs are coming in. And so being able to expand that environment quickly through containerized architecture on Splunk, which is what we've worked on um, you know, with the HPE GreenLake team uh, and, and also with Splunk so that we can federate the workloads and uh, everything that's going on on-prem with workloads that are in the cloud and doing it very flexibly with the HPE on-prem platform, as well as, you know, Splunk on Google and Azure and Splunk Cloud. Um, and then having one pane of glass that goes across all of it has been very exciting. You know, we, we're getting lots of interest in the demo of what we've done on the, the GreenLake platform and uh, the partnership has been going great. Uh, that single pane of glass is so critical. We talked about cloud complexity a few minutes ago. Customers are dealing with so many different applications. They're now in this hybrid multi-cloud world that's probably only going to proliferate. Elias, talk to me about HPE's perspective and how you're going to help reduce the cloud complexity that customers in every industry are facing. Yeah, so we, within the HPE GreenLake umbrella of portfolio, we have set up our uh, Esmeralda container platform, for example, our uh, GreenLake management services. We bring all these things together in a way that, that really can accelerate applications uh, that can make the, the magic that Deloitte does work uh, underneath. And so when, when our friends at Deloitte go and build something, Someone has to has to, you know, bring that to life. Has to run it for for our customers, and so that's what HPE GreenLake does. And then we do that in a way that that fundamentally aligns to the business cycles that go on. And so, uh, you know, we we think of cloud as a an operating model, not necessarily just a physical destination. And so we work, uh, you know, on prem, colo, public, hybrid, uh, and GreenLake spans across all of those and can bring together in a way that that really helps customers. We've seen so many times they have these silos and islands of data. Um, you know, you've got uh, data being generated in the cloud. Well, you need Splunk in the cloud. You've got data generated in uh, EMEA. Well, you've got Splunk in EMEA. And so so Deloitte's really done some great things to help us put that together. And then we we underpin that with the, with the GreenLake uh, management services, with uh, our software and our infrastructure to make it all work. Yeah, Elias, one of the areas that you just mentioned is, is one of the hottest trends that we've noticed out there. A lot of clients, you know, with the competition for skilled uh, resources out there on the engineering side and operations are, are looking at managed services as an option to building, you know, their own technology, you know, hiring their own team, running it themselves. And the work that we do with, you know, both on the security side as well as operations, to provide managed services for our clients in collaboration with companies like HPE and running of the GreenLake platform, uh, platforms as well as Splunk Cloud. Those combined services together and delivered as a managed service 
uh, to our clients is an exciting trend out there that um, is increasingly seen as very cost effective for our clients. Saving so costs is key. Casey, I want to get your perspective on what you think differentiates this, this solution, the, the, the technology alliance. What are the differentiators in this from Deloitte's lens? So bringing the expertise of a company like HPE and the flexibility and expandability of the GreenLake platform and the containerization that they've done with Esmeral, you know, it's, it's bringing that cloud-like automation and virtual and flexibility to on uh, the on-prem and the hybrid cloud solution combined with Splunk who is rapidly expanding not only what they do in the security space with a constantly changing uh, security landscape out there, but also in observability, application performance management, um, AI ops, um, you know, fully automated and integrated re response to operational uh, events that are out there. So HPE is doing what they do really well and adapting to this new world. Splunk is constantly changing their products to make it easier for us to go after those operational issues. And Deloitte is coming in with both the industry and the technical experience to bring it all together. You know, how do you log the right things? You know, how do you identify, you know, the real signal versus the noise out there, you know, when you're collecting massive amounts of log data? You know, how do you make it actionable? And how can you automate those actions? So by bringing together all three of these firms together, uh, we can bring a much better, uh, much, much more effective solutions to our clients in much shorter timeframes. As shorter timeframes are key, given that one of the things we've learned in the last 18 months is that real time is really business critical for companies in every industry. Elias, I want to get your perspective from a technology lens. Talk to me about the differentiators here, what this solution, this three-way alliance brings to your customers. Yeah, sure thing. We, we've done a lot of work uh, with Deloitte and with Intel also on performance optimization, which is is key for any application. And, and that gets to what I mentioned earlier of bringing more data in. Uh, some of the work that we've done with Intel, we've able, been able to accelerate uh, the ingest rate of Splunk by about 17 times, which is pretty incredible. Uh, and, and that allows us to do more or do more with less, uh, and that can help reduce the cost. We've also done a lot of work on the, uh, on the setup side. So there's a lot of complexities in running a big enterprise application like Splunk. Um, it does a lot of great things, but with that comes some complications for sure. And so uh, a lot of the work that we've done is to help really make this production ready at scale, uh, disaster tolerant and and bring all of those things together and that it requires a fair amount of work on the back end to make sure that we can we can do that at scale and and to to be a you know to run you know in a, in a way that uh, businesses of significant size can take advantage of these things without having to worry about what happens if I lose a data center or what happens if I lose a, a region um, and and to do those things with absolute assurance. That's critical. Casey, I have a question for you. How will this solution help facilitate one of the positives that we've seen during the last 18 months, and that is the strengthening of the IT security relationship. What are your thoughts there? I think one of the important things here is that the standardization and automation of what we're, what we're bringing together, you know, so that security can you know monitor all the different things that are being configured because they can go in and look at the automation that's creating them. So we have a very dynamic environment now with the new cloud-based and virtualized environments. So going in and manually configuring anything anymore is just not possible, not when you're managing tens of thousands of servers out there. So security working together very closely with operations and collaborating on that automation so that the managed services uh, are, are configured right from the beginning. You know, as we talked about security by design, operations by design in the beginning, it's that early collaboration and that shift left that is giving us the very close collaboration that results in good telemetry, good visibility, you know, good reaction times on the other end. 
that collaboration is something that we've also seen is really a, a key theme that's emerged, I think, from all of us in every industry in the last 18 months. Elias, I want to punt the last question to you, and that is where can customers go to learn more information? How do they get started with the solution? A, a great way to get started is to reach out to our partners like Deloitte. Uh, they can help you on that journey. HPE is there. Um, of course, uh, hpe.com. Uh, we have a, a number of white papers, collateral uh, presentations, uh, reference architectures, you name it, it's out there. But really, every organization is unique. Every every challenge that we come up with uh, always requires a little bit of hard thinking. And, and so that's why we have the partnership. To be able to, to work with customers and collaborate, I'll say, to really identify what their challenges are, how they help them in this very dynamic, no doubt, continuing to be dynamic market. Thank you both so much for joining me, talking to me about what Deloitte, Splunk, and HPE are doing, how you're helping customers address that cloud complexity from the security lens, the operations lens. We appreciate your time. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks, Elias. For my guests, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of Splunk.conf21.